Hi friends, this is Nagesh. Welcome to my channel Informal English with Nagesh. In today's lesson, we are going to learn few more words and also how to pronounce them correctly. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first set of words we are going to look at is desert, desert and desert. Desert means a sandy area with no water bodies and it has dry and hot weather. So the temperatures will be very high in the desert areas. So coming to the example, Sahara Desert is the world's largest desert in terms of the area covered. So that is about desert. Coming to the other word, it is pronounced as desert. It is a verb and it means to leave, usually without help. Example sentences will be like this. The streets were deserted due to the lockdown. Until streets and andru koda, streets lo evaro tergadan ledu because of the lockdown. So they are staying home. So that's why the streets were deserted and they are empty because people deserted the streets and the other one can be like this despite my sincere apologies my friend deserted me so you have done something wrong and you have apologized your friend but he didn't listen to you he just ignored you he deserted you so that is all about desert and the third word is also pronounced as dessert but it means a sweet dish and it's a noun. Usually when you go to the restaurant you often uh, have a sweet dish at the end of your meal. So it is called dessert. It can be anything. It can be a piece of cake or apple pie or carrot halwa. So that is also pronounced as dessert. Coming to the example, the restaurant has offered me a dessert as a compliment. So it is all about desert, dessert and dessert. Here the second and third words are homophones because they are pronounced exactly the same way but they do have different meanings to them. Let us look at another pair of words that is compliment and compliment. Both are homophones so they are pronounced exactly the same way. But one is verb and the other one is noun. So coming to the verb form it means to contribute to someone or something to enhance it. So to enhance its characteristics or attributes or anything. So example would be musician complimented the singer in the live concert. So a singer evarite onaro valani musician complimented. So if the singer had to perform alone she might not perform well or the audience may not like her performance. But here together they could give the best performance. So that is what it means. So it is a complete performance with musician and the singer. Coming to the other word which is compliment and it's a homophone to the previous compliment and it means an appreciation or a praise. So usually when you go to any party or any function you give a present to them with your best compliments. So compliment here is an appreciation for someone. Okay. And coming to the example sentence, dance performer is overwhelmed with the compliments received from the audience. So it could a dance performer, she or he has received a lot of compliments from the audience. That is why she is over joyful so she's really enjoying all that appreciation let us now look at 
another set of words advice and advise advice is pronounced as advice making sound in the end which means a suggestion or recommendation the example would be i need to see a lawyer to get his advice on the property dispute so i need to have some advice for the property dispute i am having with some person so that is about advice the next one is advise so you have to really sound as advise z, z sound should be in the end and it is to suggest or recommend the example sentence is i will advise him to get tested for covid as he is symptomatic so than symptomatic ga undadam valla so i am advising him to go and get tested for covid covid ku test chesko ani nenu advice istunna so that is advise so the last set of words in today's session are sight sight and sight these are all homophones to each other so they sound or they are pronounced exactly the same way and the first one is site site which means a piece of land or an area or plot on the ground so example sentence is like this there are excavations going on in the historical sites across india so sites ante ee sites historical places evaithe unnayo akkada tavvakalu jarugutunnayi ani cheppi dan ardham the next one is sight so sight so sight which means vision or the ability to see something so it's sight the example is while i was getting dragged in by the strong waves i got panic as i didn't see my friends in the eye sight so kanchup meralo nenu mottham ocean lo ki nan waves laagestunte kanchup meralo ma friends evaru kanabadaledu ani cheppi the meaning and the third one is cite sight it's a verb and it means to quote or to refer to as an example so here is an example for that he cited many of his real experiences in his autobiography so than autobiography lo chaala personal experiences ni thanu mention chesadu ani dan ardham mata so this brings us to the end of today's session so see you all in the next video bye